Hello guys, before we start this following piano tutorial, I'm going to quickly tell you how you can get the best out of this lesson and how everything is structured. Okay, firstly, even though I verbally tell you all the notes and chords in detail, you should still have a pen and paper to write down the melody notes and matching chords as we go through the lesson so you can actually easily remember it to practice afterwards. Okay, so personally, I like to write the melody in blue on the top with the matching chords below in red, like this. Anyway, the lesson is broken up into sections so you know which part of the song you are learning. The sections are further broken down into parts so it is easier to remember and practice right on the spot. The parts are further broken down into separate hands, then hands together to ensure that you get each and every note of the melody and chords correct. Anyway, with that all said, let's jump straight into the lesson, and happy learning! Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the very awesome new song by The Fat Rat, it's called Elegy. Okay, so, let's go ahead and teach you my two most favourite part of this song, which is the two main themes, which basically is the verse and the chorus, okay? I'll name them, but it's probably not called that, because there's no proper kind of like singing, except for it's like remixing the whole song, but yeah, let's call those two sections, the verse and the chorus, but I'll show you those uh, uh, sections anyway, with the preview, so. Okay, I'll give you a preview before we start learning the, um, um, the verse. It goes like this. Okay, here's a preview. And then it repeats again. Repeated, but anyway, that's the uh, that's the verse. Okay, let's teach you how to play it now. Okay, so the right hand goes like this. Starts on the E. So it's supposed to be actually an octave higher on this E, but you can't really see it if I do it that high. So I might as well just show you everything here first, and then you can just have fun with it later on. Okay, so E, middle C, C, E. Okay, so it goes E, E, C sharp, F sharp, E, C sharp, B, E. That's the first part of the verse. Okay, let's do it again. The first part goes E. A, C sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, B, A. That's the first part of the right hand, okay? Left hand, the two chords for the first part is D major, D, F sharp, A, followed by C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, and G sharp. And those are the two chords, okay? So D major and C sharp minor. With those two chords in mind, let's put the two hands together. It goes like this, okay? D major first, and the right hand comes in. After the E, C sharp minor by itself, like that. Okay, so the main thing about the song is it's hard because uh, there's a lot of syncopation kind of rhythm for stuff. But if you listen to the song enough and I tell you all the notes, it will be actually a lot easier. Okay, so let's do it again. So the first part goes here, here, like that. And when it's fast, it just goes like that. And make sure you like build up slowly first because you don't want to get the rhythm wrong because that makes a part of the song most of the song as well it's like really awesome okay anyway so right hand now right hand it goes uh the second part goes to a a f sharp up to d and then c sharp d e c sharp d e like that that's the second part okay let's do it again the right hand goes a a f sharp up to d c sharp d e c sharp d e like that so that's the right hand Left hand, there's two chords here, okay, the first chord is an interesting chord, it's uh, pretty much, you can say that, okay, anyway, I'll just tell you the notes for it, okay, just in case I mock up the chord name, so, E, A, D is the first chord, so it's kind of like an E suspension 4 with a, um, the 7, E7 suspension 4, okay, so, yeah, E, A, D, that's the first chord, and then A major, A, C sharp, E, that's the second chord, okay, with that in mind, let's do it again, the two chords are, E, uh, a D chord thing and then A major. Okay, so E A D should be the suspension uh, seventh chord, but it's all right. Anyway, you remember E A D. So with that in mind, let's put the two hands together. It goes like this: E A D chord by itself. The line comes in. C sharp and A major together, like that. And one more time, it goes here together. When it's faster, it goes like this. Okay, now moving on to the third part, right hand, uh, fantastic, exactly the same as the first part. The third part, exactly the same as the first part, just goes like this, like that. So that's the third part, one more time, so it just goes, exactly the 
exactly the same as the first part, okay? Now, the fourth and last part of this verse goes like this. B on the right hand, and then two A's. Easy, okay? So, B, and then hold, and then two A's. That's it. So three notes for this last part, fourth and last part. Okay, the left hand is, once again, the two chords, same as the second part, is E, A, D, and A major, which you know already, okay? So E, A, D, A major. So you know it already, let's put the two hands together for this fourth part, goes B and the chord together. Second A and A major together. Actually, no, it's more like together, and then A major is right at the end. So not together, actually. So the A major chord is right at the end, right after you play the second A. So it's like this, together, here, like that. So it's syncopation stuff again. So one more time, so it's like, like that. And that's it, all you need to do is repeat it for a total of two times, so one more time. Yeah, and it just goes like this. Okay, now the chorus part is this part, the glitchy part. Okay, the whole song's kind of glitchy, that's the whole genre of this song. So, yeah, anyway, but let's move on. I'll give you a preview of how the chorus goes like, goes like this. Like that. And then just repeat again. start okay the uh, first part of this chorus right hand goes C sharp B C sharp C sharp B C sharp down to E like that once again everything should be one octave higher but I'm just showing you the notes here okay one more time so the first part goes C sharp B C sharp C sharp B C sharp and then E the rhythm in this part is pretty important as well so I have to group it up so three one two one so it's just like one two da, 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 da. That's the right hand for the first part, the left hand, uh, fantastic, because the left hand actually has the same chord pattern as what we learned before. So the four, uh, is actually the four chord pattern, the D major to C sharp minor to E, A, D chord to A major, played twice, so just D major and C sharp minor. So we pretty much know the left hand already because we just learned it from the verse. So with that in mind, let's don't ignore most of the left hand stuff in this now because we already know the left hand. So it goes like the C sharp and D major together. After the C sharp, C sharp minor by itself, like that. That's the first part, okay, of the chorus. So let's do it again. So it goes together, here, like that. Okay, now the second part of the chorus, right hand goes like this. It goes four A's, one, two, three, four, and then B, C sharp, B, A, like that. And one more time. So the second part goes four A's, one, two, three, four, B, C sharp, B, A. Left hand, just continue the two chords from the four chord series, E, A, D, E chord, and the A major chord. E, A, D chord, A major. With that in mind, let's put the two hands together for the second part goes like this. E, A, D chord by itself, right hand comes in. And then B and A major together. Okay, one more time, so it should be like this, the counter. So, one, two, dun, 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 like that. Okay, so that's the second part. Now, the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, but just an extra note at the end with the right hand. So, exactly the same as the first part with extra note, because... One more time, so the left, uh, the third part exactly the same as the first part, but the right hand extra A note at the end, so here, A like that. So that's the third part. Okay, now the fourth and last part goes like this. It's really simple on the right hand. It goes five A's and then followed by another five A's, so ten A's in total. But it's just broken up in that group. So five rest and then five rest. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five like that. You can do the. Uh, uh, a more advanced technique where you switch fingers as what I teach to my students in my courses but yeah just like this a, 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 a. one two three four five like that so you end up on the fourth finger for every single one because yeah you just have to do it with four yeah five four three two one is not as easy but if you five four three two one is easy for you do it like that but anyway as long as you get the five A's out it's alright okay so anyway with that in mind the two other chords on the left hand are just E A D chord A major for this fourth part, okay? With that in mind, let's put the turns together for this fourth part. It goes like this, E, A, D, E chord, right hand comes in. After that, A major chord by itself, okay? Like that. And that's the fourth part of the chorus, okay? That's the last part, okay? One more time. Here. Just like that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. The chorus, you play two times again, so you repeat the, uh, what I just taught you all again. So it just goes. So we sound 
sound better if you do an octave higher, so if it's higher, it goes like this. Yeah, so really a fun song to play. I played the full song, including uh, all the improvisations and all of the motives, including the introduction motives, all those other like EDM, like glitchy parts as well in the middle, like the... Um parts okay it's pretty awesome as well check it out in the cover but anyway as for now i guess enjoy your time checking out all my other stuff on my channel i have so many piano videos for you to do there's like covers and tutorials so many for you to like learn and also enjoy and as for now i guess yeah enjoy your time on my channel and i guess see you next time Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my ear mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.